So we all know it's Leo season and although they do have a special place in my heart, Virgo season is right around the corner. This year I'll be turning 35 and I'm so excited to get into my grown and sexy era. Today I've teamed up with Nadula Hair and I sent over this gorgeous bob and I'm going to be showing you how I get into my grown and sexy mood and I do it all by myself. If you're interested in seeing how I installed this wig, styled it and got it super melted, keep on watching. So as I mentioned, this comes from Nadula and they sent over this one in some extra special packaging. I'll show you the packaging in just a moment, but for now, let's just pay attention to the star of the show. This here is a 6x4.5 closure lace wig. The inside construction of the cap shows it's a breathable cap and it has this grip-like technology at the nape. It also includes an adjustable elastic band, so you know I'm going to secure it with the elastic band to give me a little extra support, especially because we're going to be going glueless today. Now, as you guys can see, I'm looking a little crazy. Let's go ahead and shift the wig and adjust it to the perfect space on me and this is what she looks like on as i mentioned this is a yakky bob and i'll have her linked in the description box this one here is a beginner friendly wear and go wig she does come with a pre-cut lace and as you guys can see this is what she looks like from the back now if you go to the website you'll see that this one comes in a few different options she definitely comes as a yakky straight or even a silky straight if the yakky isn't your vibe of course, I chose the Yaki and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Here, I'm just going ahead and just like trying her on for size and seeing like what the vibe is or what, you know, how I want to style her today. She also comes as a 10 inch, 12 inch or 14 inch. So whatever your bob length is and what your go-to is, is definitely uh, represented on the website. Here, I'm going to go for a semi hold. This is a extra hold hairspray and this is just going to melt the lace in. It was definitely sitting on my hairline really nicely, but I wanted to make sure it was bonded down and not going to go anywhere and i'm using a portable fan yes a cold air portable fan to go ahead and dry this product now i'm going to decide if i want to do some baby hair as you guys can see this one is pre-plugged to perfection so there's not much work needed for starters, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to position the baby hair. Did I just want to kind of do some like jagged, like shaggy, you know, baby hair where I just kind of keep it long and kind of like push it to the side with a little bit of hairspray? Did I want to do full swoops or did I want to do like the micro baby hair that's very, very, very subtle? I wasn't quite sure, but I did want to keep it a little bit more on the classy side because again, the theme for today is grown and sexy. And I did go ahead and use that edge control from pdacbeauty.com to go ahead and just lay everything down along the hairline and prepare for the baby hair and again i'm just brushing it forward and kind of trying to find how much hair i want to leave forward i definitely don't want it to be too perfect or uniform and i cut it super duper duper short again i call this micro baby hair and one of the key things about this is i like it to go in different directions this is like so short that it doesn't like fully swoop but you kind of have some going left some going Going right some going backwards to coming forwards you kind of want to have it going in all different ways so once it melts it just gives a very natural like real hair vibe and of course we're going to go ahead and tint the lace a little bit later in the video but you guys can see how natural and beautiful that looks to give it a really good salon look i'm going to go ahead and do my dynamic duo for me this is a wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and i just really go in there and get it good now this is the hot comb from bwd.com and it does go up to 500 degrees i like to actually do it at 500 degrees which to some people may be very intimidating if you are fearful of you know applying heat especially Especially close to your skin I highly recommend that you do the step where you just put the wig on the wig head like the mannequin head before you install you can stamp out the parting and you can do the dynamic duo with the wig on a wig head that way you can get it super duper duper flat and super duper sleek without risking you know damaging or burning yourself at all I'd like to take my time with this step and just really really make sure everything is melted in the way it should be I don't like for it to be lumpy by any means or you know like thick or puffy So I really really take my time with this step and you guys don't necessarily see the whole thing But I kind of cut it short so that you're not too bored 
Now I'm going to take the flat iron from Baby List. Be sure to use a heat protectant to protect the longevity of your hair and to, you know, obviously protect against heat damage. And I'm just doing the Chase method lightly to go ahead and just really bump the ends. I want to straighten out any kinks or like waves that may have happened during shipping and handling, making sure everything is nice and sleek and straight. And again, having a little bit of bump at the ends to really, really give it that really, really good, you know finished look and this is what it looks like with the, half of the wig done and half of the wig straight out of the box you can definitely go for more of a straight look where you don't necessarily bump it bumping it is always my preferred choice when it comes to bobs so i'm going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side i love the sheen and the texture of this one i also love the density sometimes you want something a little bit thinner and then sometimes you want it a little bit thicker this one gives a nice wrap look especially because of the length and the way it just kind of like sits on my uh shoulders i like the fact that it's not too thick that it's going to be like bulky in the back but it's also not too thin that it looks like it it's like missing some tracks if that makes any sense so this was after i went ahead and silk pressed it i kind of wanted to give a little bit of um like dimension so i did go ahead and kind of just like feather the bangs on one side and i kind of did it lightly on the first side just to see if it was something that i actually wanted to commit to and i love 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 the way it looks this looks so good especially like since it's summertime with a nice little halter or some kind of like tank top your glasses on and you know when your glasses or your indoors you kind of like pull your glasses to your head like a headband this look is just all that in a bag of chips and it just goes with that look so well this is perfect for the pool parties and all the functions going up we're going to disney possibly day vegas um and a few other places in this last month of the summertime so i did add a little bit of a flex hold hairspray just to hold that feather situation a little bit better and now we're finally going to go ahead and tint the lace you guys already know ruby kisses has been my current go-to be sure to leave it in the comments and this is a serious 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 question what do you use to tint your lace please 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 leave it in the comments or if there's a product that you've been curious about leave it i'm interested in purchasing some new products and i want to know your opinion and get your help now this is the finished look i do feel like the hairline could have been a little bit darker so i will go in with a darker like bronzer a little bit later but the length the texture everything about this one is super beautiful and then this is the packaging from nadula they gave me this beautiful holographic tote and inside was my box when you open it up there is a reusable dust bag that you can keep with your wig forever and then there's this little free goodie it looks like a travel size like crochet hook i'm not quite 100 percent sure what it is but i'm almost certain it's a crochet crochet hook and then they gave me the nadula melt belt which you guys already know i'm going to put to use a pack of hd wig caps another melt belt some eyelashes and then this kabuki brush that is great for travel and that's pretty much it be sure to check this one out you guys already know i have a direct link to her in the description box i love this one and she's the perfect go-to wig very easy to install lightweight easy and perfect for the heat but it's also going to look sexy in the fall with your boots and your sweaters here i'm showing you what it looks like pinned up the hairline is absolutely gorgeous i can't get enough of this one at all but for now thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches